the tone of my voice comes across as very condescending. Oh, and does granted, it? Dude. Does it, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Apparently. Loser. Yeah. 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 I mean, like, take for example your fake beard. Yes. You know? <laughs> so you like to point out that my beard doesn't connect. But yeah. I, I'd wager to say that, sure, it's not a sturdy bridge. You wouldn't want to drive a semi truck. But there's a path, okay? There's a path, and it's itty bitty, and there's a path. <laughs> you know? So, you know, this isn't, you know, this isn't Mackinac Bridge, it, okay? It, you it's know, a professional listen, driver. I'll admit it. It's not Mackinac Bridge. But know what it is? This is hope. <laughs> this is, it's barely connected. Okay, it's it's like the uh, the bridge in Indiana Jones, you know, where they're hanging on for dear life, afraid yeah, it's gonna well, fall off. <laughs> hey, it was that bridge or nothing, you know? They had to cross it. And then it just, you know, the line cut and it fell down. There you go, dude. I got this is. I think this might be the longest I've ever grown it. I just don't. I just don't have a shaver right now. I just. I'm too. I'm so lazy. I don't want to get a shaver. And so I just bought that stimmy hit. I got a shaver too. I got a little trimmer. <laughs> wow. So, Doug, we're just going to talk. And this is going to be like a little podcast. We're, it's, yeah. This is going to be the One Piece podcast, but we're not, you know, we're not the official. We're the totally unofficial One Piece podcast. It doesn't even have to be One Piece. We can talk about literally anything. We'll just be the what? unofficial. Are you serious? Unofficial. Unofficial Joe Rogan podcast where we okay, just perfect. get high Wait, and <laughs> talk, <laughs> talk about whatever. Oh, are you recording? Yeah, right. yeah. Well, this is the explanation to it. <laughs> I, you oh, know what? I'll, I'll uh, run. I mean, I say we just keep all this in. You know, let's just be unedited. You know, we're, we're coming here. We're coming in hot. You know, yeah. there, I think there's some people subscribed to us too that aren't necessarily into One Piece. They just like, uh, oh. you know, they, they're just been, you know, uh, fans from afar, you know, so maybe this would be a good, I don't know. Now it feels scripted because I feel like I'm going into a bit. Well, you, you probably are scripting it, you know. <laughs> you got your stimulus it, check. Oh, yeah. No, Dude, for sure. you, what did you buy? You know you did not put that in the bank. You went out and you spent the thing. Uh, new webcam? <laughs> Is that why you're looking gotta... so good? <laughs> Uh, I got a switch and a new chair that'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and how much did all that run you out of your 14? Oh, man. <laughs> You're like 15. <laughs> uh, I, th I think it was 1,000 total. Oh, man. Out of all that. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, am... I got the uh, Mario Red and Blue version. Mario. And then oh, I got... it says Mario on it. Do you have it? The switch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I could grab it if you want. No, I don't know. I don't care. I thought it was maybe next to you. Uh -uh. No, it's all hooked up to my TV. <sighs> so, dude, so the so it hit my account this morning, okay? And I, I got a, Same. I got I got it at seven, and I look, and boom, the freakers in there, and I I was like, oh, and I because I, I I told myself right when I get that stimulus check, I'm gonna buy a stabilizer. I my weddings. I've been, I've, I have this footage and I thought in my head, it looks so beautiful. I was like, follow him down the aisle and like these sunbeams are coming in. I'm like, Oh, it's with my, uh, my C300. And I, th I thought I just nailed the shot and I looked at it and it's like totally janked and I, Oh, it would have been such a good shot. And I promised myself I get a stabilizer, but, and it has to handle 10 pounds. So yeah. the, the other ones are like 300 and they can handle like three pounds. But you're not going to get a chair too? The PewDiePie chair. What do you, you what do you think? Do it. Yeah. Do it. Oh. 400 bucks. Come on. Oh, wait streaming and comfort. <laughs> wait, hold on. I actually pressed the wrong window. Wow. This is embarrassing. I think it's recording something else. Okay. Now, now we're good. We were only bad for a second. Um, <laughs> No, I don't know. Okay, okay. What do you do for money? Me? Yeah. What's your job? Because I My honestly job? don't know. Oh, 
you don't know what my job is? I have like, no idea. Really? <laughs> uh, I know that you just, do something. And it's very I kinda, cool. I just kind of sit there and play video games, watch TV, you know, do homework. <laughs> oh my god. Let's, let's, do you let's... work for us? Or do you do you work for, uh, whatever, the Senate or something? I don't know. <laughs> Like I know anything about no, that. No, no, pretty sweet gig. Uh, night on it at a hotel. You know, there's a little bit of dealing with talking to people, you know, but uh, mainly full time student. And, uh, you know, you just really not a whole lot to do in night on it except play video games, watch Netflix, and do homework. Until, you know, it sounds a random so odd person. <laughs> Then I just come home. No, it's it's great. And, it's and, great. and I start right crying on the beach. When I, right when I hit, yeah, okay. Like I, I'm I'm awake right there, and I get to watch the sunset every morning. Oh, cool. You know, yeah. No, uh, no, it's it's a really fun job. Got uh, great employers. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I, I got the wrong idea though. Yeah, I thought man, you sounded like depressed all your talk. I was like, oh, these poor oh. guy. No, you I love just it. sound depressed all the time. Oh no, yeah, I love it. <laughs> It's a permanent depression. No. No. <laughs> like Which isn't very funny, I guess. I, I, I guess I just like come across as like a very condescending person and like a jerk and like sound depressed all the time. Mm -hmm. Like uh playing video games with other people the other night. And uh <laughs> They're like, wow, this guy's a real asshole. They, 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 <laughs> they, they were all like complaining to like somebody else uh, I was playing with about how I was coming across as like, the, well, I mean, how they thought I was just being a total jerk to everybody. Yeah. And it, it was just like, that's just how I talk, you know? Yeah. Like, they don't know me. They just, you know, the uh, resting bitch face. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, they, they weren't looking at me. Like, it was just... Spending big I, 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 I actually bought the uh, the Manscaped Razor specifically for beer <laughs> trimming. <laughs> Uh, does, it, does it not work? Does it all not do the same thing? Oh, yeah, it does. I, I use it for both. Yeah. But no. Yeah. It, it, it's a great razor. Pretty good. This and is fascinating. We're, we're, we're... <laughs> fascinating stuff here. Folks, we're at the freaking edge of We're obviously sponsored by Manscaped. <laughs> Lost more 2.0. It comes with a light. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Dude, isn't it, isn't it funny when you're like watching like a podcast or something and they just like break into talking about their manscaped uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? If, if we get enough people on this channel, I'll have to do sponsors. And that would be insane because I just make them a commercial, you know, like full up, like a 60 second commercial. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they just work it into the show, like right in the middle. You don't even have to create the commercial. You just talk about it off script. You know. Oh my god. I would like make them. Oh my gosh. That'd be so funny. And they could like have it too. That'd be like double. I could double charge them. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, right. I, I mean, we have seven. We don't even have 750. We got to 748 and then like three people unsubscribed when we uh, went live because they're like, oh man, this notification. Damn it. I don't want to look at it. Over. Yeah. You know, that's that's what happens. Yeah. And I'm guilty of that for sure. Like if, it, if someone's going live like every day i'm like oh my give it a break but really it's just that i'm i was i wasn't that interested in the channel probably yeah but yeah so we just try I to mean, go once the, a week just once a week the, they Sunday, had maybe. to look at your face you know and they were like oh man i think we gained some subscribers when your voice wasn't working wasn't that uh, <laughs> we gained three <laughs> when my mic was turned up <laughs> Yeah, so you lost the three when you started talking yeah, again. Yeah, but I was doing all... <laughs> I was like, I was like, going crazy in the background, right? Yeah. So uh, once, once we start talking, we lose subscribers. It's so funny. That's how it works. I, uh, so I, 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 so I have like four monitors over here. So when we live stream, yeah, I, I have like three things going on at once. And I oh, always I, forget to change the damn screens. picture. You know, like the, like, so I, I, I have like a few you know files open so i can like pick at one piece characters as we're talking about it and oh those are what those folders are <laughs> yeah no they're not uh <laughs> naughty folders <laughs> anyway i guess maybe they're not an FFW. yeah <laughs> i thought uh, that's what i saw but anyway yeah 
So, what are you uh, what are you watching? Right now? Uh, well, today is ReZero's new episode. Um, okay, okay. Can you give me a <laughs> synopsis of what is going on in ReZero? Like, okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to fill you in on what I know about ReZero. Okay, go. He died. And, but then he then he or he got transported into a world that's kind of like a video game because when he dies he uh responds and he can die over and over again with a bunch of hot chicks he's really into one girl and she's not giving her the time of day and the other one that likes him he rejects so he's totally not uh you know he, he he's cut off every chance of love that he could possibly have out there that's what i know okay so yeah it, it's I f could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's what, like, made the isekai genre, like, super popular, was this show. <coughs> so, he, yeah, he, he's just, you know, first episode in a convenience store. He's, you know, basically a neat who keeps in shape, which is weird, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, he gets transported to another world he's still got a cell phone like he's got his ramen that he just bought at the convenience store and whatnot and like chips and stuff and uh he just like goes on this adventure in there and yeah he falls in love with this girl like pretty immediately who like saves his life and he just keeps dying over and over again until he gets to the point where he's able to save her life and it just kind of like happens that way throughout uh the first season and now we're on to season two and I don't really want to spoil it for you before you watch it, but uh, season two is getting pretty good. It was kind of a slow start, but uh, it's going strong, you know? Um, he's pretty much an unremarkable character, not like, er, not unlike you, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Shut up. So, so, or just like the Wait, do you say unremarkable like, or remarkable? Unremarkable. Hey, what? <laughs> wait a minute! I think I'm well, pretty no, remarkable. He, he's, he's just pretty much an average person <laughs> How in dare the you? world. You, you watch a bunch of isekais where they have like all these crazy powers and they're like got their shit together and they know everything, but he doesn't know anything. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't get superpowers. Like he's got like a little bit of powers, but it doesn't really help him out at all. He's just very determined and just has the ability to come back from the dead like rewind and he can't tell people about it either he can't tell them that he's died and come back so he dies a bunch of times in the show and just like remembers his death every time um no super super interesting anime i, th I think you'd like it okay. uh dude have you seen lupin the third Yes. Oh, okay. All of it? Or just like a few episodes? Just a few episodes. Dude. It, that is... I, so I started on season four. That's like the newer... Like, there's like two new seasons. There's four and five, I think. Doug, it is so fucking good. It's like Ocean's 13 every episode. I mean, Ocean's 11 or whatever. Like, they're doing heists. They're like... And, and like, he's always getting chicks all, all around him. He scores sometimes. Like... He's like this like awesome James Bond dude. And there's like other, so then he has his like partner that's with him. He like he has a he has a gun and he's the sharpest shooter and he's like his right hand man, so he'll woo, he'll like snipe from the back, coming in clutch at the end of the day. Then they have a samurai guy. Anyway. It, and, I've, and been, it, I, 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 I've I've caught up on almost all the episodes and it is just the best show ever. I just love it. Uh, is that on, like, Amazon or, like, Netflix or something? Okay. It's on Funimation. Oh, it's it also, is? Okay. It's also on Crunchyroll. Oh. Okay. True. Yes. <laughs> I found... All right, all right. So, you know, we got the Crunchyroll. We got the Funimation. Yeah, we all... We all... We all... Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I, I, I've got High Dive, and that's got some of the, the like the late night stuff that you don't watch in front of other people anime on oh it oh my god <laughs> so, but, wait, wait a minute wait a minute do you have no, an no, H no, subscription I, do you have a subscription i have a i have a high de it's, it's a high not, definition 
Hi, it, it has legitimate anime on there, all right? Um, I'm but it sure has it like some of the some of the more risque animes that they won't carry. Oh, on, like, okay, so it's not straight up no. hentai. No, 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 no. But no. not at all. Okay, it it's it's just anything stuff I would that recognize. Would... Uh, man. I mean, they got a bunch of stuff on there. Uh, oh. Oh, but have you heard of Retro Crush? No. Oh my gosh! But I was. My friend came or moved back recently after not seeing him for a decade, and it's an was an app on his TV. But uh, I'm thinking about getting it. It's got a bunch of old animes from like 80s and 90s, um, and they're all like really cool animes on there. Like it's got Astro Boy, uh, like so many. Like, I, so many thing, animes I've never heard of, never seen on, like, Crunchyroll or Funimation. Like, this one, Requiem from the Darkness. I don't even know what it's about. Uh, but it's all, all, all seems like all the uh, retro animes on it. So, I'd suggest giving that a look. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm doing? I'm trying to make it so I can search for stuff while we're talking, because... There we go. Boom! Now, we can really start entertaining. <laughs> but, but but yeah, I mean, uh, uh, High Dive does have Haikyuu on it, you know? And it has, like, other sports animes on there. Do you, do you hate on Dub as much as Wayne does? Because uh... Wayne hates Doug. Sorry, uh, Dark Brett. Whoa, he hates me? <laughs> <laughs> Did I say Doug? Yeah. Dove. He hates the dove of everything. Um. Well, maybe that's over-exaggeration. But definitely doesn't like dubs. I, How do you feel? I do not like dubs. At all? No. Wow. No. How dare you? Like, I mean... Sure, cool. Like, people can watch it in English, that's fine. I think it's cool that they do that. You know. Um. I don't know. I just, uh. Enjoy. Anime with subtitles, you know? And the weird thing is, is. Even if something's in English, I still watch it with subtitles. Even if something's in English. I st oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got ya. Yeah, like watching anything on Netflix. <laughs> subtitles are on in English. Dude, sometimes they mumble. They straight up mumble in movies and shows all the time. Oh, I know. It, it, yeah. Like, right. like it, because it's great acting. <laughs> it's great. Oh, great. Yeah. He's such a talented actor. Yeah. No, I love subtitles. I can't watch anything without them. Like, it's like, <laughs> where are the subtitles? I hear ya. Uh, but. Unless the subtitles are bad. Like, I don't know if you're ever oh watching my... something. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> bad subtitles and it, like, blends in with the picture. <laughs> you know what I freaking miss? And honestly, it, it's it's created, like, a whole subculture with One Piece. Is the fan subs of One Piece. Where, like, when, when Luffy does his Gumu Gumu no, they'd have a sick, like, text animation on the bottom. Like, <laughs> Gumu Gumu no, and the thing would rise. Gumu Gumu punch and like all the really cool japanese words like um you know anaki nakama um uh they they they, they would put like the, the japanese words that they couldn't necessarily translate, translate. To and i felt like that yeah. was so cool it made me learn japanese because i'm like what does that word even mean i had to look it up and yeah yeah anyway i just missed those fan dubs so much and then also, you know, you know who delivered the better version was the fan dub, subs of Jimbei talking to Luffy when Luffy just loses all uh, will. And he goes, tell me, you, st you say what is lost, what is lost, but I ask you, what remains? I like that version better. And that was, a that was like a fan dub, fan sub. I forget what he says in the regular one. I know it's yeah. close. I don't know. I, th I think that's... A pretty uh, 
sensitive subject for some people about like watching like fan subs and like uh scans uh and i guess uh people have really been like really mean to translators who work for like funimation uh lately um I don't know. Translations have been really, really lousy lately. And, uh... So I, I, I do appreciate the work that people put into it for the official translations. Yeah. It's the early days. It's the early days. I was, oh, I know, I know. You know. L like, 2005, you know, watching <laughs> stuff on YouTube. You know, 2004, back before we hit you know, knew about Crunchyroll or Funimation or any of these possibilities. It was like, we had to wait till stuff came out on Saturday Night Toonami, you know? <laughs> like, there was a time where we didn't have access to anime. I was not part of that. I will say that. I started in college. So I was like 19 when I started watching One Piece. That was my first anime, yeah. by the way. One Piece was my first anime. Yeah. No, I, I remember it coming on in, like, 99, 2000, something like that. Uh, on, uh, no, it's been 2000 or 2001 when it came on Cartoon Network. And, uh, yeah, I, I never found anime on the internet until probably, like, 2004 or 5. Oh, man, I wish you could see my screen right now, but I'm playing the Toonami uh, intro bit. Oh my god. I, I've done that before too, where I just like go back and I look at the Tsunami <laughs> intros with Tom. Right. Um, the, the voice of Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, the guy who uh, plays not, Spike. I'm just Spike. Sorry. Spike, yeah. Uh, no. Tom, great voice. Loved him. Yeah. Like, that, that was. I'm not going there to die. I'm going to there to make sure I'm still alive. <laughs> Yeah, you, you can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, damn it! I want to. <laughs> Wait, no, right. Wait, can, can like, you do I it? Was... See you in space, like... cowboy. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Yeah. No, like at that time in my life, though, when I started watching that, though, I had like just moved from like the neighborhood where there were all the kids to hang out with every day, and then I moved to a neighborhood full of old people. Um, I mean, you live right down the street from me. Yeah, like, I way. didn't know you, but, uh... Imagine if you would have introduced me to like anime our, sooner. Our, like, our neighborhood was just all old people, right? You didn't have, like, any kids, like, as neighbors, did you? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Or, yeah, oh. I remember, though, how, you're, you're older than me. So it would have been yeah. kind of funny if we hung out. It would have been like, what are they hanging out for? They're, like, really... Yeah. No, hard. there were no kids in the neighborhood when I was growing up there. So, like, I just turned there's, to watch there's an anime. Whole neighbor. I remember growing up. Yeah, there's kids everywhere. Yeah, so that's my was part none when I was... in a different year. Yeah, yeah. So there's no kids when I was growing up there, and uh... so I I just turned to anime. You know, dude. I wish I would have watched anime when I was younger. That's that's what I turned to. You know, in like eighth grade when I came home from school, watching anime, hanging out with Tom. You know, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> So, um, the one thing I do remember, okay, there, I, I didn't watch all of Dragon Ball Z, but I would like catch little bits of it. And I remember one time I really wanted to watch the next episode. My, my, and I, I had to go to football. I hated football. football oh my God. I remember I, I yeah. like it. I pretended I had an injury so I could stop going to football practice. <laughs> <laughs> because, so, so I, I hit... <laughs> Yes, it was back problems. I said I was having back problems, <laughs> so I couldn't do it because it was something they couldn't test for. Right? Yeah, I got back problems, my fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was super skinny and and uh, right, in right, grade. right. But no, like I seriously like was like, dude, I got back spasms. I can't do this stuff. <laughs> and uh, because I would have to record Dragon Ball Z on VHS, like I'd have to set it up with a timer or whatnot, so I could watch it when I got home after. I hated that. Yeah. Like, I, I was actually, my parents were moving, and I was emptying out, like, a box of stuff that I had left there, and I found the old VHS tapes of recorded Dragon Ball Z. Oh, that's so sick. 
a whole box of recorded DVC on VHS. I, I went and watched some of them, and, like, the commercials are ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I remember, okay, the, I remember the, the episode that my mom recorded for me was the one where freaking Boo, it was Boo, and I was, like, 10. Boo was on. Isn't that crazy to think about? Um, anyway, Boo, like, destroyed everybody in a circle, and that's the episode I got to see, was Boo, like, you know, destroying the whole human race. Well, yeah. uh, yeah, anyway. I just thought that was... Oh, I, I... Yeah, I was starting off at, like, the Frieza saga. So, like, oh, Goku wow. hadn't even become Super Saiyan yet, you know? I, I, was, I, I had my ear to the ground on it, but that's all. And maybe I played the video game at that point. But, yeah, no, I was not watching it like you were. But, no, like, I was watching it, like, because, like, I think I think they had, like, more up-to-date episodes at some point, but it was, like, two new episodes every single day after school. <laughs> That's sick. So I, it was, like, kind of binging it, like, every week. And then sometimes they'd, like, reset it back, like, a couple weeks and then catch up. And then Friday nights were movie night. So they'd have, like, Dragon Ball Z movies, Sailor Moon movies, you know, just any old anime movie. And that was just fantastic. I love that. It was it was a great time to have Tanami back then, when we didn't have uh, you know the internet for our animes. <laughs> Man, uh, now all these, about all it. these anime kids are spoiled with being able to watch anime on demand as soon as it comes out. I know. We we only had twelve channels for a while. Like uh, yeah, it was like ten years, and. Uh, Right when I got out of school, you'd only get two. You get Yu-Gi-Oh! and Hamtaro. That's the only two oh. animes I got. My God, Hamtaro! Yes, yeah, I but it looked, it looked gay. I was like, you know, <laughs> my, my dumb head. I was like, oh, this is, this is gay. And not that that's bad, but at the at that age, I didn't want. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't want to be that. So I was not going to watch Hamtaro. Can you imagine my dad watching this? Dude. Like, this dude is like, what the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell is this, son? What are you doing I, to me? I watched, I watched Sam Taro. Oh, yeah, yeah that's what you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, send me to boot camp. No, he wouldn't do that. Just He's so disappointed in you, Drew. All <laughs> right. I think my dad, my son's, he, he's doing photography. I don't know. He's, He'll figure it out. I don't know. He, he does photography. He watches he, he's cartoons. Into, he's into some kind of porn thing. I don't understand it. It's like <laughs> cartoons or something. I don't know. It's, it's fine. All right. I let him do his thing. No, no, he's really, no, he's really supportive. He, uh, he, he's always been like, you got it, you good. Yeah, you know, he, he, it's not like that, but anyway. Uh, I, th I'm pretty sure. All right, before I even knew you, I was working at Cottage Cafe where your dad worked. Like he was my manager. <laughs> yeah. All right. And I remember he had. DVDs of Miyazaki movies in the office there, and I didn't know like why the hell he had them. I wonder if he was like gonna give them to you or something. I never <laughs> saw any of those. Maybe it was somebody else's, but it was in the office, and I was. Like, oh my dad, dad! <laughs> He's like, I don't want to watch this shit. <laughs> So yeah, oh. it's like Howl's Moving Castle or something. Dude, and, and the like... only little piece of Howl's Moving Castle I ever saw was at the end of the Pokemon Movie 2000 VHS, there was an advertisement at the end for Howl's Moving Castle. And it was like, what the fuck? How do I watch this? This looks great. And I never figured <laughs> it out. I wonder if your dad like bought it with the intent of giving it to you and just like never oh did. He, and then, he, then somebody else, oh, my poor kid doesn't have a Christmas present this year, Rick. <laughs> That's like, <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute! <laughs> oh my god, my, my favorite line from your dad is, friends and family are going to be the death of me. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad owns a furniture store now. Oh, uh, yeah, now. Um, they Anyway, and yeah, he, he, you know, he, he's a salesman. He's, he's, he's fast on, on the mark. You know, and he's wheeling and dealing. And yeah, I, yeah, I think these lines just come to him during the day. It's going to turn into Rick's rug here in a minute. <laughs> oh, no. Like, uh, that's when he sells a lot of furniture. He's like, well, 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 yeah. Yeah. He, he's like, no brass, no glass. And then, like, he'll tell us <laughs> not to bring <laughs> it. 
dude, I don't. Never no has no glass. Yeah, I've heard it before. <laughs> yep, yep. He's like, I don't want this thing. I don't want that thing. I don't want this thing in the store. And then what does he do? He gets all of that. And yeah, I'm like, right. what are you doing, Rick? Yeah, Why do we exactly. have this in the store? And he's like, oh, friends and family. You're going to be the death of me. <laughs> Uh, our thing though was like some dude was like hit a trailer full of stuff or oh, whatever. Sure. Oh my and, god! Uh, yeah, yeah, go, 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 right, go. Hold, hold, on, hold on. Sorry, sorry. And, uh, this dude, he's like, I, I just want to get rid of the stuff, and he's like, and Rick, knowing somebody in the store wants something on that trailer, he's yeah. like, oh, I don't need this crap. Uh, I'll give you five bucks for that. Buys it for five bucks and then like turns around and sells it for like 150 bucks. The dude in the store. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like right in front of them. <laughs> uh, buy low, sell high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And right now I have the. I just have a picture of the front. I, it, it, it's no longer there. So you know, if if we become no. super famous. <laughs> Which we will not, but uh, it's it, this, yeah, it's no longer there. They moved to a different location, but yeah. Oh, wait, this would be advertising. Wouldn't I want them to know? Any, well, if anyone's from, in Traverse City, tap drawer, Google it. <laughs> oh but, uh, yeah. um, so, so my dad one time, so I was in, I was in high school. I was like 11th grade, something like that. And oh, I love that story. I, I, <laughs> do you know what I'm going to say? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, I don't, okay. I don't think I, I, I will, we'll see. My dad gave me and my friend Jamie a, a blank check. And he said, oh, yep. okay. Oh, okay, there we go. And he goes, go out there and, uh, you know, make him an offer. And she has a bunch of shit. She has to get all out of there making her offer. And I'm oh. looking at everything. And I come out and I, and I go, lady, uh, let's, say, um, let's say I go $800, okay? Because it was a bunch of junk. And uh, she starts, like, just just get like no no i can't do it and jacks me all the way up to a twelve hundred dollars okay so i bring back my dad <laughs> this trailer full of just styrofoam crap just like like really wobbly shit and he's like what the fuck is this and he's like how much did you spend on this i'm gonna make like ten dollars off of all this twelve <laughs> hundred <1200. laughs> that lady was like woohoo <laughs> and yeah <laughs> Oh my god, I felt so bad. My dad never did that again. He was like, "All right, I, I, I'm gonna hold on to the checkbook this time." <laughs> the big one. I, I I bought like individual stuff, but that whole household. Oh, I fucked that up so bad. I felt so awful. But yeah, it wasn't fired. I wasn't fired. <laughs> it was just a, oh my it. god. I just, there I, you go. Friends and family will be the death, death of me. me. Oh my god, dude, that is so funny. Yeah. Anyway. So how we met was through my dad. Uh, you work for my dad, and we we went on a delivery together. So a delivery is you know furniture. You know people buy furniture and then you deliver. It. So you make thirty, forty bucks each delivery, something like that. And so and yeah, we were in the middle of the Dressrosa arc, and we were debating who is going to get the Aces Devil Fruit. And I don't remember who you said was going to get it, but I was like, it would be really awesome if we gave it to Nami. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what I said. I probably had some dumb answer. Probably. I mean, knowing you. <laughs> well, it's obviously <laughs> going to be Sabo. <laughs> I am predicting this way in the future. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. No, uh, I know. Yeah. We started talking about like... One Piece and it was like... It's like whenever you find someone else, it's how it, that's how Dark Brit and I are such good friends too. Is uh, once you start talking about One Piece, it's like you know an instant friend. You're just automatically friends, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if you like this show, you, you know we, we already got a lot of things in common, right? <laughs> like 900 episodes. I well, over a thousand chapters. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hard to get people into One Piece. They, they go. It is. What? How even, many? Even if there, how many? Even a if thousand. There, no, a hundred, a thousand. <laughs> Even if they're into anime and manga, it's still hard. How many episodes of The Simpsons are there? I don't even think there's a thousand episodes of The Simpsons, are there? Well, I mean, look at Pokemon. Look like, what? they have more episodes than anything, I think. How many... What's your guess? 
My guess? Well, I mean, I, I just looked it up. Oh, shit. <laughs> How much? Less than one page. Yeah! Yeah! It's like, you, you, you're, gonna watch, you're gonna tell me to watch more episodes of The Simpsons and, oh, let's see what South Park is. South Park. I would love to say South Park and Simpsons combined. South Park and Simpsons combined! South Park and Simpsons combined, right? Alright. It's insane. Yeah, there, how are you gonna talk anybody there, into it, doing it? Alright, there's one anime with more episodes. Hidepe no Ippo. Hajime no Ippo. Uh, that one I, has I'm not like sure 15 how many, how many. Oh, it does? Oh, yeah. They, they He knocks those things out. How many chapters? No, no, I'm talking about like actual episodes. Like TV episodes. But yeah, how do we know Ippo? Like that that one is like crazy amount of chapters. I'm talking about like animated. Cause uh Pokemon has over a thousand. Uh here we go. How many jeez, how many? Here we go. Oh what? Now I'm really confused. Because here it says that there's only 130, but I know that's not true. Anyway, uh, like if you if you combine like Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball and GT all together, it's still gonna be less. Yeah, I know. Uh, Pokemon has Pokemon has over a thousand episodes. Does it? Um. I think that still reigns supreme. Uh, where do you, what, what, what's the number? Thousand something. How many Pokemon episodes? A thousand, oh wow, 1146. So we're not far yeah. beyond. But that thing, uh, no. dude, Pokemon is going to be like this meat grinder. Like, all right, next one. But, 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 forever. Yeah. It's just going to go on forever. Yeah, it, 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 it's a bunch of combined, you know, stories um, for Pokemon. Can, can I yeah. hate on Pokemon? Or do you love it, Pokemon? Love it? No. I and, and I say this having a Squirtle keychain, okay? So don't think I'm a poser. But you know what? I think it's a kid's show, you know? And I, I just say, leave it there, you know? All these people are like trading these like super expensive cards and it's it's like really overdone right now, it feels like. It just feels like- um, Oh, the card, the card game? Do you see like, they're going for like millions of dollars and like the, the Pokemon card trading industry right now is so big. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, so is Magic the Gathering. Not like Pokemon. Know. Uh, more than Pokemon. Didn't... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't you see the Logan Paul Pokemon card thing? I don't watch Logan Paul. I don't either, but his, one of his things went really... He, he, he Opening the million dollar first edition, first edition Pokemon box. He opens a million dollar pokemon box on, on like live stream and he he made money on it he opened up all the cards and then sold like a bunch of rare cards that came out of that pack and people are like really into pokemon right now i'm telling you it's more than magic uh, i don't know okay <laughs> well anyway why are you into magic no, not at all. Did you ever play? I just... No, never. It's just that it's been going on for decades, you know? And there's old cards, you know, that go for thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, what's a really expensive magic card? No idea. I'm not a uh, magic card aficionado. Expensive... Yu-Gi-Oh um, cards were cool. Yeah, they were fun. Expensive uh, magic cards. Okay. Uh, 
I'm not seeing magic cards. I'm seeing Yu-Gi-Oh cards, though, that are worth a lot. Oh, there's magic to, get, to grab. <laughs> um, uh, there's some that are... I mean, the Yu-Gi-Oh one. 250 grand. Where are you seeing that? Some of them. Hold on. Let me get to it. Oh, I got it. I got it. Uh, WealthyGorilla.com. All right, Black Lotus. Yeah, I'm seeing that too. Adds three. Okay, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I'm really happy for that card. Uh, is that like, is that a good card? I don't know. I'm I'm just saying like, some of the cards that because the the game has been going on so long, you know, they don't make the cards anymore, and people will want those cards, and their value increases over time. Oh, that's funny. And I think they release, like, a new set, like, every three or four months, too. Um, and they got, like, their own video game for it, too. Really? Um, like, I, I've, I've got friends who play it, and they easily spend, like, a thousand dollars, like, every four months on it. Whenever <laughs> Holy a new crap. Set comes out. Yeah. But the, the weird thing is, it's like, they profit off of it, then they, like, sell those cards when they're done with it, you know? Magic the Guard. Um, how about okay, G GDP? No. Uh, what, what should we like? How do we compare Pokemon cards versus Magic cards? What What is the magic formula we need here? I I don't know. Uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, how about like total card count? I don't even care about what I'm talking about about anymore. I want to see this. <laughs> Sixty cards. Oh, that's how many you get. Okay, never mind. There are 15,404 unique Magic the Gathering cards. How many? 15,404 unique cards. Alright, and then Pokemon? <laughs> okay, Pokemon cards. Nine thousand one hundred eighty-four. <laughs> Pokemon. Plus, yeah. Oh, how about Pokemon cards? So now we have to add like. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Pokemon unique cards. Oh, not just Pokemon. Yeah, unique Pokemon cards. Nine thousand one hundred eighty-four. <laughs> not not as many as Magic the Gathering. Yep. Wow. I don't care. I'm not. I'm never gonna play Magic the Gathering. No, no. I'm never gonna play Pokemon either, to be honest. That's why I'm saying the hype is too real. Way too expensive. But you're, you're kind of uh, making me. Okay, okay. Hear me out. The most expensive Magic card is what was that? One hundred sixty thousand, right? Two hundred fifty. Yeah, uh, we're talking millions of dollars for one Charizard first edition, perfect edition. Like, these cards are way more valuable. Here. Char's uh, most expensive Pokemon card. Pokemon card. Here we go. I think it's a Char it's like a first edition Charizard within the bounds or something. Like, they have the, like the, the print has to be also perfect. And that's what makes their value go up. All right. If we're gonna go for most expensive card ever stolen, sold, yeah, trading card, it would be a Mickey Mantle at five point two million. Five point two million. Yeah. Who, Mickey Man? That's that's baseball. Yeah. <laughs> Well, good for Mickey Mantle. I'm so happy for him. But the results I'm getting aren't millions of dollars, so now I'm really confused. It could have just been, you know... Uh, am I totally wrong? Maybe they're packs that I was talking about then. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Uh... Dice Breaker? Okay. Um, a 
ninety. Yeah, see, they're not millions. What the fuck? Two hundred twenty thousand. That one does beat it, though. All right. So the one that was marked as you know two hundred fifty thousand. Uh, only one. The highest one it sold for is twenty-seven thousand, and the highest sold Pokemon card was sold for ten thousand. And then I'm, I'm looking at a different one that says higher. I'm I'm looking at for sold prices, and this is in euros, so. Okay, a PSA ten base set first edition Charizard just sold at auction with an ending bid of one hundred eighty-three thousand. Okay. Oh, you're looking on eBay itself? No, I'm looking at uh, dicebreaker.com Pokemon card trading card games. <laughs> okay, here, here's here's one that's worth 200 or that worth, but it, I guess it, someone bought it. Um, it's a golden Pikachu card. <laughs> like it's literally out, made out of gold, and it's 216. Oh, well, that's not very much actually. I thought that was 216,000. It wasn't. All right. I was going to say, if it's literally made out of gold. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> cheating. Yeah. So, yeah. Imagine melting that down. You'd feel like such a dummy. You'd be like, oh, man, but it's a Pikachu. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, it's a Pikachu. I can't melt it. Oh, man. <clears throat> is it, it's got to be worth more that the Pikachu's on it, or is it less because then you have to melt it? Like ah, oh, now I gotta melt it. No, no. Generally, I th I think it's worth more than if you melt it down. Because gold has a base value. Anything you do to the gold to transform it or turn it into something else, I think increases its value. Are you getting into Bitcoin at all? Nope. I've been throwing some bucks in. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the government crackdown on it. What are they going to do? <gasps> oh, that's right. I put in a hundred. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Oh, man. I put it in a hundred. I put in a hundred earlier today because uh, everyone was telling me to. And it's like the market's about to boom up. You got to do it. And so I put in a hundred and it freaking went up, up since then. Boom. Do you are you into stocks or anything like that? No. Yeah, me either. I want to get into weed stocks. I, that's booming. It's booming, baby. Weed is up. Yeah, I don't know. I I think the market is in a very volatile situation right now, and it's more like gambling than anything. Yeah. I'm just afraid of government crackdown. Ruining what, what, everything. what would they do? It, it's totally, um, it's just a stock, right? It's just cryptocurrency. They, no, I they, know. Cryptocurrency is the... theirs to keep the government out of our money, right? Right. But <laughs> if you just stop right there, right? Okay, guys, we're gonna, no, we're gonna no, end the podcast. No, no, that, that, that's that's the problem. Is like the government intervenes and makes it so that you can't use it anymore because it's competing with them, right? That's the concern. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe. Have you heard? No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying like it's going to. I'm just saying it, it just doesn't seem very secure. And then the, then there's like the people who like have it on a hard drive and it ends up in a landfill and there goes $240 million, right? <laughs> you know? and, and they just have that money, by the way. Bitcoin just, huh? and Bitcoin is like, oh, great. Yeah, great. You just stored it. That's great, right? Like the owners of Bitcoin, they're like, they don't want you to have the access nobody to owns, Bitcoin. Nobody owns it. Who's giving you money? Bitcoin, it's it's just you know blockchain code like it's like everybody like every computer creates like a ledger uh, right. for the money, right? So it's it's not like wait a minute, wait a minute, some wait a minute, wait a minute. individual. So, there's a creator control. of Bitcoin, and he's a millionaire. No, nobody even knows who he is. 
it's an anonymous pr uh, programmer that created Bitcoin. No, it says right here, Satoshi Nakamoto. That's who they think did it. Nobody actually knows who did it. Everyone says it's this guy, Satoshi. Oh, there's 13 potential candidates. Okay. There is no public information about the creator of Bitcoin. Whoa! I didn't know. I'm putting a bunch of money in it. And I don't even know this shit. Satoshi Nakamoto was pseudonymously used for the person or group of persons who developed it, right? Mm. It's not an actual person. Like, so, we don't know. Nobody knows, right? So, it's crazy. But if you created Bitcoin, you'd be a millionaire right now. That has to be so. What if the person who created it died? What? What if the person who created it died? It, I, I, well, like, like I'm just saying, I, I guess like, even... there's, there's no person just like sitting there. Him. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. They're just taking a little bit off the top every time. No, what's happening is people are mining it. What is that? Yeah. So. It. So you're mining it. So what they're doing is they're searching in the depths of the internet and trying to no. find uh, no, they're pockets of Bitcoin. No, no. From my understanding, I, mean, I haven't really done a whole lot of research into it. People... <laughs> From my understanding, I don't know what I'm talking about, but let me try it anyway. Uh, just a little disclaimer. Sure. From my understanding is that they're using their GPUs to uh, operate like the ledger, you know, uh, verify people's money on Bitcoin or whatever. And then since you're dedicating electricity and GPU time to it, you earn fractions of Bitcoin from doing it. So people will create these machines and they're buying up all the graphics cards the second they pop on the market. And they just have all these GPUs used for mining cryptocurrency. Uh, how did my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I thought that... Um, and I still think that y y you get into pockets and, like, some people make more and some people make less on, like, the same... Comp you know, doing the same thing because they can, like, strike lucky, basically. It's like gold mining. Ch -ch -ch -ch. So it's not yeah. like they're getting paid just for the electricity. You could all you can come to your computer and all of a sudden there's you know. And and also like, there's like a finite amount of Bitcoin out there. To, well, interesting. From my understanding. You mean like once you have it, that's it. Like once once, once it's, it's all, all out there, once yeah. it's I mean you can have fractions of Bitcoins, right? But like you well, have I, I, I don't even have point zero zero one percent of a Bitcoin. Yeah, you know, so I don't know. I I think whoever created Bitcoin is probably disappointed with what it's become. It's a complete which success. Is, no, uh, because if you look back at like how Bitcoin was before it became, you know, ten thousand dollars for a Bitcoin, mm -hmm. right? It was super cheap to get. And you could just, like, I, I, I remember, like, seeing, like, you could donate Bitcoins for stuff or whatnot back in, like, 2010 or whatever. I never got into it. But you could go around and pay for things with Bitcoin, right? When it was super cheap. Like, there's stories about, like, a dude tipping 40,000 Bitcoins to Papa John's, you know, back in, like, 2008 or something, right? Because it would been like he was. Just, it was he was... worthless. It was worthless, basically. Like I mean, it was worth a few cents or a dollar or something, you know. Uh, but I don't think it was ever intended to be something that you're spending however much Bitcoin is worth to get a Bitcoin, tens of thousand dollars. It's just a trading stock. It's not actually being used as a currency for buying and selling. And I think that's what its intent was, was to be used as something for buying and selling where you didn't have to use the U.S. dollar for it. 
or any government dollar. And that way you could make transactions with people wherever you wanted to in the world without having to pay, you know, transfer fees and stuff like that from going from country to country. You'd send somebody Bitcoin and there's no fee for it. Uh, the way it's being used is just I feel like my brain's an investment start smoking now. now. Yeah. It's, it's just turned into another investment. Yeah. To make money from doing nothing. It's not being used as common day currency, which is what the whole goal was. Mm -hmm. Was to stop using dollar bills. Get paid in crypto. Ugh. Go to the store, spend crypto. I'm telling you, it's my only savings account right now. It's crypto. It's like, I'm putting my money into crypto and then just like... That, that's my that's my savings account because I can't it's really hard to you know withdraw all that it's hard to get it back so well yeah makes me wait till you get taxed on it too uh -oh. <laughs> when you get your money back <laughs> I'll capital gain there. capital gains tax right <laughs> maybe I won't <laughs> take it out for a while yeah wait till the IRS comes and oh, makes you know so, 25 percent so, of your profit so during COVID you can take out your 401k. Oh, I was so tempted to take it all out and put it in Bitcoin. I was like, ooh. And if I were to invest, it would probably be in, like, Ford. Oh, really? No. Oh. Mm. Anyway. Uh, what else What else we got, man? What else? Uh, let's keep up the energy here. Uh, so. Uh, uh, and we were talking about what animes we're watching. <laughs> uh, Dr. Stone. All Dr. Right. Stone. Now, I am three episodes behind right now. They okay, just made a car. You... Yeah, 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 yeah. But did you see... Um... <laughs> spoiler, spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. If you alert. haven't watched it, uh, forget what I just said. They did not do that. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Uh, for Carrie Byron. Uh, did, like, a live reaction to an episode of Do to some Dr. Stone. Who? And Carrie Byron. No idea. I think that's her name. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. <laughs> Who is she? Who cares? I'm just kidding. Uh, that was really mean. No, no. Uh, yeah, Carrie Byron from Mythbusters. Oh, that's fine. Redhead. Bad. Yeah, she she was like watching it and like reacting to it and saying if it would work or wouldn't work and oh, stuff. And, uh, she actually like said she really liked the show. They like had like a video of her on Crunchyroll. It was pretty cool to watch. What? Dr. Stone, yeah. let's see it. Yeah. Dude. We, okay, let's react to it. Want to react to it? Alright. Oh, this react is fun. To... Okay, hold on, hold on. I've got, the, the screen's going to get messy here, folks, and you're just going to have to deal with it because I've got to find out how to turn up the fucking volume. I can't hear shit. Okay, here we go. Alright. Okay. I'm going to fast forward to the eight minute mark. All right. Eight minutes in? Okay. The flare. The So does she like it? <laughs> so we don't. Uh... Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, she likes it. Like, I don't know. It was just really interesting to like hey, see a hey. mythbuster. She, she, she kind of cute. Dude, I've had a crush on her. So like, <laughs> apparently you're following her. I saw her. <laughs> well, no, it came up on Crunchyroll. Her hair is nice. <laughs> I like how flowy it is. <laughs> it's nice. This is for you. Wow. Maybe you should uh, get in contact with her hairdresser. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know about that, but look at her. You can get yours done the same way, you know? Oh, get the same perm. No, I don't want get those. Hey, get those big hoop earrings. <laughs> dye your hair. You know? Print go 
It's just, uh, I don't know, it seems so bizarre, like, seeing her talk about anime. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really cool. <coughs> you remember, um, well, Sagreen? Uh, no, that's Sagreen. She's the Do I remember Sagreen? <laughs> not Sagreen. Oh, jeez. Simone Yurtz. Uh, you ever see her? Simone who? Simone Yurtz. G-E-R-T-Z. Spell that again? G E R T I Z or something like that. Mentor. Yeah, here we go. Simone Yatz. Uh, no, I haven't uh, seen her before. I I made a video about her in my, in my, in my past life, and she commented on it. And anyway, she knows uh, the MythBuster dude. She, she, they do like videos together. Which one? What's that? Which, which MythBuster dude? Uh, the old guy that's more funny. Yeah. <laughs> what is his name? Um, Adam? Adam? Yeah, Adam Savage? Yeah! Cool, like Adam Savage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I made a song about her. And uh, anyway, I don't know why this is relevant, but I figured we were talking about it. It yeah. sounds like a terrible song. <laughs> Can you hear it? No. Anyway. Um, yeah, anyway, so I made like a whole music video. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yo, Simone Yurtz, you're awesome. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, you know what? I was learning how to do YouTube videos and I, and I, I, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to try to copy everyone else's videos just to start off and do it ironically. And then I made the niche YouTube reviews kind of goofing on other creators but yeah oh with your uh your makeshift uh channel yes you have a million view video so you're, you're always like well I made a thousand dollars this week <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's so great I'm so happy for you that is so great <laughs> wow <laughs> uh, you'll get there someday yeah. How, how much money did you make on that video? Uh, no one talk about it. How much? <laughs> Let's just not talk about it. Wait, right? <laughs> what, are you, what are you scared of? No. It can't be that much. Yeah, okay, $20,000. No, not that much. Okay, okay, here we go. $10,000. Okay, it was $8,000. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty good. So... So you're saying like all those YouTube dudes, like PewDiePie, every day is making eight thousand, eight thousand, eight thousand, eight thousand, probably more. I, well, I, I, I mean, I mean, like a million views turns into like a thousand bucks. That's what it like came out to. But they make more, right? On oh, YouTube so it's not eight thousand; it's one thousand per million views. How many? Oh my I god, you, yours got multiple millions, didn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's look it up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what's wait, uh, oh. cause it's it's like the whole like everyone was no. like. No, they they, they, they 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 de demonetized it and uh, I took it down. So oh, you took no it longer down. There. Yeah, it's gone. No longer there. Uh sorry, Drew. Well, anyway, but no, it, it it had like nine million views when it got demonetized. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I remember that. Like, uh, yeah, I was like, "Dog, I made another video." And you're like, "Mine has a million." Uh, well, I, I didn't, I, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't monetize it like right away. You're like, "Dude, you gotta monetize that stuff." And oh, like, did I? Yeah, you were the one that got me to monetize it. I was like, "Duh, you're making a." <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> you have a thousand subscribers. You have a thousand. To and... over two thousand. Right. Well, I'm just saying, like, in, the, in my yeah. head at the time. I was at like a hundred thousand views when you told me to do it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my! You're welcome. <laughs> oh my God! Why you never told me that? I want more credit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Uh, I bought a new computer with it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's all my money. Give me a thousand dollars. Oh, Thirty spent. Sorry, Drew. Nah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> um. 
Man, that, that'd be not. We're, we're at an hour right now. I'm still. I don't know. I, I got more to talk about, but I don't know if you're feeling. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh. I, well, I was gonna say. I was gonna talk about like recently. Oh, oh no, we should talk about. I know I'm stuttering. Sorry. I'm trying to think. Wonder it, egg priority. I'm a few episodes behind. I've only watched two, and I realize this is going to be a Monster of the Week anime. Right? It, it's, it, it's per, like, no. The first and second episode a... was like a different, like, basically they go in, come out, go in, come out. So much more. So much more than just that. Oh, really? I had it totally wrong then. Wonder Egg. Like I, I, I think I'm maybe at like episode three, but episode three was like nothing like that. Like like yeah, it has that, but they, they introduce like new characters every week and relate inner relationships with it. I don't I, know. I have a like, really hard time with animes about really young kids. I can't relate to it and it, I don't know. I I am just not into it. I, I, it just seems like it would be right up your alley. <laughs> what? Are you making fun You're of me? a little kid. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, um, no, <laughs> I don't know where that joke is going, but let's uh, whatever that means. Okay, um, but I'm yeah, like I, Hunter, 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 Hunter X Hunter, Hunter Hunter. It's that okay. one was almost like he was almost too young for me to even have any kind of. I, I was like, oh, I don't want to watch a show about a baby. This is ridiculous. But uh, the show showed some cojones pretty pretty soon, so I was in. No, I, I promise think never very... is the same way for me. I, I watched an episode in and I was like, I, I don't want to watch this show. Yeah, no, I, I totally get that. This one's more of like, to me, it's more like Alice in Wonderland. Mm -hmm. I know, like, I, I was like, what am I? What? My eyes were like giant. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, you're just like, what are we watching? You know, the animation looks incredible to me, too. You know, um, I don't know. I'm still a few episodes behind, but I think it was a pretty cool anime this season. Um, well, it's, I mean, Jujutsu Kaisen, really yeah. good. Oh man, I I, um, I can't believe I was so late in the train on that because I I just caught up like a few weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. Oh, uh, I'm somewhat jealous because you got to binge it, you know, mm -hmm. you know. And let me tell you, the <laughs> last the the episode I caught up on is when uh they the hypest moment of all okay what what do you think i'm about to say what moment here like okay well i'll just tell you i don't know a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. it was uh, the hypeness of the of the world it was like okay yeah. okay let me just tell you well, it, it, yeah okay oh spoiler alert this is like the latest episode but it's where they both team up and that one dude, he keeps on calling our main character best friend, right? Best friend, and he's, and and fucking what, what's it? What's the main character's name? Oh God! Why, why, yeah. why isn't it just like the name well, of the show? Why, Wayne Wayne isn't here to. Oh, I know. You know I, hit the, I hit the double. Give us the names. He he remembers names. I mean, you know, but that's why he's the smart one out of all of us. I know. Um. I, I honestly have to look up the character names. I'm so. You know what bad got me that. to watch the Jujutsu Kaisen was the, was, I I was like watch, listening to like a lo-fi anime mix, and it randomly started playing the Jujutsu Kaisen beginning, and it was so good. And everyone's already talking about it, and I just wanted to put it off. Oh, okay. What what the moment? Wait, wait, the moment is when they both call, call each other best friend, and then they pose, and it's like yeah. the team is in town, baby. We're about to go start kicking some butt. So, so yeah. it's Itadori, Yuji Itadori, Yuji. right? And Ao Toto. Anyway. I'm probably not even saying it right. Hey, hey, let, let's move on from, because we're going to do an episode of this. We're going to do an episode on this. So okay. we should move on from Jujutsu Kaisen. We're all, our first episode is going to be on Haikyuu, too. So we can't talk about that either. <laughs> but what we can talk about, if you want, is you know how you and Brit hate the dub. Of One Piece. Oh, I don't hate it. Okay. I just don't watch it. <laughs> I just hate it with all of my soul. <laughs> no. Um, no, it's just like... They're, they're, they're halfway lesser, through dress... Why they watch, dub oh, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. I, it's just like, why watch a lesser version? 
<laughs> the other issue I have with it, I, I think probably the main issue I have with it yeah. is I'm impatient. Right. And I mean, e even if it was simulcast, like if the English episode came out at the same time, I probably wouldn't watch them together. I honestly have not watched One Piece in two or three months. Oh, really? The anime itself. Oh, well, the anime right? is totally kicking ass right now. I understand. Mm -hmm. But, like, it takes, like, five episodes for something to happen, right? And so I, I have a huge problem with One Piece right now. All right? Yeah. You get, like, a two minutes of the last episode, and then two minutes spent on the intro, and then another minute from the last episode, five minutes of new content, and then, like, the episode's over, right? I, it's they like have five, gotten a lot better minutes. at that. Okay, because for a while there... It, it was, was six like... minutes in on some episodes. Yeah. Six yeah, minutes. Six minutes. Yeah, six minutes in, and then the episode starts, <laughs> and it's like, and then it's I just don't them wanna... staring at each other. <laughs> right, right. So, no, I totally so on it. Cruncher, so on Cruncher Roll, it's like you gotta go look in the comments first and see who you know your hero is that week, who marks the time for when the episode <laughs> actually starts, and it's just, hey, it's always the top comment, always. <laughs> you know, um, okay. it's like, well, why? Why waste my time watching six a six minute episode when I could wait three months and watch a full episode? Right? That's what it kind of like felt like. And I, I really you're, you're sleeping on Wano here. It's the best one piece has ever looked. Except for Sky P. I really like how Sky P looked. Okay, so I'll tell you where I'm at on it. Alright? Uh it was just when uh Luffy and uh what's his name we're in the ring and big mom shows up that's where the and they they free the prisoners and cure them uh that's where i stopped wano is looking fantastic though the lines are the best uh, the the animation is spot on the way that they are presenting the content absolute crap what is the better art style okay i'm gonna give you two bad ones okay uh dress rosa or fishman island which one do you do you like worse or least or maybe you like them maybe you really like that art style but when you think of it because <sighs> it doesn't change like super crazy it's just like a little like i think the I think uh, they're like, they're more single line stuff in. Uh, I think I prefer Dressrosa. I was gonna say dress. I've been watching Dressrosa, and they do some really creative techniques in in that. Like, there's one scene where Law is about to get chopped by uh, Del Flamingo, and there's this like, whole, like, like I, I I I don't like the amount of like repeated content. No. That's come to One Piece. Um. But Jaressa Rosa was actually a pretty fantastic arc. Oh, uh, I, well, I wouldn't agree with you there. Like, if you cut out some of the, the fluff in there, like... Dude, the tournament arc, in my I just hate the tournament arc. It just I think that's the only really part I just had the beef with it, because you could do the... I don't know, but, maybe, but he's, Otis said that he wanted to draw a tournament arc, so damn it, he's going to do it. There's no, there's no better time, and also you need Luffy to do something. Totally get it. I just felt like there's no point. Okay, the Luffy fight against uh, the dude with the pointy head. Yeah, John Don Chinjao. Totally awesome fight. <laughs> what does All it right, mean? it doesn't mean anything. It it doesn't have to mean anything. That that fight. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. To watch in the anime was awesome. I was getting Dragon Ball Z vibes from that fight, when when, yeah. the, when their hockey was clashing, you know, and like electricity <clears throat> flying around, it was exciting. Mm -hmm. That was great. All right, but I mean, like there was there was a lot of cool stuff, like with with that arc, you know, because how long has it been building up? 
Okay. Now we're going to go back to the podcast. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now we're in podcast mode. Go check out. We just did a whole rant about Odin, where he came from. I figured we'll make that into another video. So now we're coming back to the podcast. How you doing, everybody? Um, we, now I'm getting too announcery, and we kind of lost the the um, realness yeah. of it. Yeah, just cut that part out. You're okay. an idiot, Drew. <laughs> hey, I'll cut that part out, too. <laughs> that, 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 no, that, that could be the intro right no, there. No, no, no. Drew, you're an idiot. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you. Hey, you get a 10% of a haircut done. Yeah, my mom dragged me into the barber when she got here. And, yeah. um, man, I can barely put it in a bun. And I, I, I but I asked him, I was like, I just want to be able to put my hair back still. And there's like two hairs that are like strangling back there. I know you know the struggle. Kind, kind of like the two hairs that are strangling right there. <laughs> That's how we started off this podcast. You start making fun of my beard <laughs> in the first two minutes. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, man. No, uh, uh, so what are you you you're describing some game today and man i'm saying i'm saying oh, this with like Valheim. half hesitation cuz uh yeah. what is Valheim. it called Valheim. Valheim. Yes. a brutal exploration and survival game for 1 to 10 players set in a procedurally generated purgatory inspired by viking culture did you hear? Sorry, can we wait a minute? Wait a minute. Uh, let's put this. Let's 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 put this over here. No Man's Sky is good. Have you heard about this? I've heard of it. I have not played it. Yeah, but like you know, like at first everyone was really pissed because they, they, you know, they made them release it early, so it wasn't done, and it was like really shitty. And yeah. now they fixed everything. There's multiplayer. There, you can. It, it's the game that they more of the game that they promised. Yeah, no, I, I I've heard about that. Mm -hmm. Still haven't played it. I mean, I'm not gonna. Play I it. don't <laughs> have time for games, right? Yeah, right. But We're I doing. Still, I still. <laughs> I don't have time to do things, but I'm yeah, I'm here talking to you. You know. Well, this this will at least get something going here. You know what? We should call this something. You no, know we should do is come up. You and me. We'll come up with a name for what we're doing. How about the BS corner? <laughs> I want to say BS in it for some reason. We could just make it, uh, you know, hump day procrastination hour. How about Beard Bros? <laughs> no, that's... that's Dude, come nice. on. <laughs> That'd be so funny. We make the Beard Bros. Remember how you guys are like... <laughs> 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 the Beard Bros <laughs> podcast. Dude. Uh. The, the, okay, here's the deal with the podcast. You have to have at least a little beard. A little beard. And there can only be two people on it. Okay. That's the Beard Bros podcast. <laughs> so the other person is always feeling like they're left out, right? That would be the joke. Cause then you, you and then you, you and Dark Brit do one. And then I'm, then you guys, this is, yeah, we're the ones with the real beard. And then Wayne and I will do one. And then we'll be like, oh, yeah, Doug's a real idiot. <laughs> oh, man. What do you think? Am I selling oh. you on the idea? No, you're not. <laughs> Only, only real beards. <laughs> only Cooper real Road. beards podcast. <laughs> Come on, the beard bros. <laughs> we gotta do the beard bros. No, it, it, it could be one and a half beards. <laughs> <laughs> one and a half beards podcast. <laughs> only when you're in it. It'll be beard bros when it's just Wayne and I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but then it then's go then it goes back to one and a half beards when Wayne and I do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, then you guys can never do one. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's beard bros when that happens. <laughs> right. So you you'll never be on. That. You'll never be on beard bros, Drew. <laughs> Yes, I will. <laughs> look, look, damn it. Can someone give me some... Look, it's not awful. It doesn't connect. It's, it's half. I can't control it. <laughs> like half, half is generous. Don't... Half. Bullshit. Half. Half? What? What kind of shit are you smoking? This is not half. This is 90%. And, and if we get Wayne, you and I on here... 
We could call it two and a half beard. <laughs> right, two and a half men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we who cares what you be- think? I'm just going to name it whatever I want. <laughs> I'm going to name it the Beard Bros Podcast. Uh, mm-hmm. Then you'll be forever known as a liar. <laughs> An opposer. One five uh, beards podcast. Beard, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. Well, let's end it there then. That sounds that sounds good. We got a name for it. We're at an hour and a half. Of uh, twenty minutes of that was on one piece, so it's really uh, whatever. I don't know. I mean, you tell me whatever the time is. So yeah, like an hour an hour per beard. <laughs> so it's an hour and a half. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This is. Uh, this is Bullet. I'm Samurai Drew. Uh, we'll see you next time on One and a Half Beards.